All right, guys, a little story about a little headache I had here when I had that motor running the other day. I had a uh, spark plug here, the, uh, the most forward number one on the uh, driver's side, kind of gall up on me and almost strip a cross thread. So on that motor you saw running on my very first video, I've already had to take the head off because I just didn't feel comfortable with how uh, that spark plug was sitting in there. So I got the head off. So then I started looking, how is it gonna fix the uh, kind of cross-threaded, galled up uh, threads in that spark plug hole. I first started with this uh, spark plug hole chaser from OEM Tools there at AutoZone. Now I could get that through all the way, but I still could not get the spark plug to thread through uh, nicely. So then I went with the whole spark plug repair kit, which is gonna come with this tool here, which is basically a tap and then a larger uh, tap if you're gonna have to use basically an insert or a heel coil uh, type tool. Now you could have done this from the head being on the, mo on the motor still, but since this is just a junkyard 706 head anyway off of 5.3, rookie mistake is I probably should ensure I clean those threads out a little bit better. I kind of didn't have a lot to lose and I figured my best chance was to probably pull it off. So for me, who I've never done a repair like that before, best chance for success. I was like, well, I'll just pull this off. Only take a, you know, takes what, you know, 15, 25 minutes to pull a head off a car. It's already pretty opened up because I needed to get to the inside threads since the starting threads were the ones that were giving me a little problem because I knew I wanted to try to start kind of almost from inside out. Um, so I was able to start working it through the thread chaser alone didn't uh, quite clean it up and then so what I was able to do was start running that tap through that forward section and you can see that it has this kind of taper on it so it doesn't really let you get it all the way through in one pass I kind of had to go you know halfway through on one side halfway through on the other side and the thread that got galled up was almost right in the middle of the uh, spark plug socket uh, I eventually got it through using some uh, grease and oil and, and some cutting fluid and, and was able to spin this and get it through. It's this one here, which I'm not taking it out again. It's in there. I torqued it. Uh, I look, you know, I usually don't torque my spark plugs, but I wanted to make sure that I hadn't uh, removed too much material and that the threads were still going to hold that spark plug in there tight. So I uh, torqued it to 11 foot pounds per what I found online, but it's snug. It's, it's in there good with just a, a drop of a tiny little bit of ANICs on there, but she'll run another 100,000 miles. I'm not touching it. So a little tool here, save the day. You know, worst case scenario, well, I go to another junkyard, 35 bits, I pull the other head off. But, you know, obviously I, I didn't want to do that. I already got this one cleaned up. I already did a, a real basic at home valve job on it. Just, you know, this real basic so i didn't want to have to get another head and clean that one up and swap stuff over he's got this one has new seals in it so uh there you go got lucky these are the issues and problems you're going to run into you, you know you run junkyard equipment which i love it's good to go just uh realize you may run into a hiccup now and then and a little lesson learned get those threads chased out i probably would have just ran that thread chaser in there beforehand Probably would have uh, saved me some grief. Good luck.